wash my hands. I'm coming into my patient's room. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, I'm going to do a head to toe assessment if you're okay with that. Okay. Um, can you tell me your name? Miranda Hogan. So the, um, your date of birth? 040903. Do you know where you're at today? In the hospital. And what's our next um, holiday coming up? Halloween. Okay, good. Um, so I would initially now put my gloves on. First thing I'm going to do is inspect your head, okay? So we're checking your head, your scalp for lesions, bumps, bruises, lice, those types of things. And everything looks good on the head, okay? okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to move to your eyes. I want you to just look straight at me at my nose, okay? okay. Check in for reaction for Perla to both eyes. Does any of this hurt? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to check your ears. Any redness or drainage? Anything abnormal going on? Nope. And then I'm going to close your eyes so this doesn't, I'm going to check your nose, your nostrils for any like deviated techniques or drainage redness. And then I'm going to also, up your mouth for me, say ah. You can say your name on you, right? And these are your teeth, not dentures, right? Yes. Okay. Um, let me check for your carotid. Everything's good. And you said nothing abnormal has been going on. No. Okay. Um, I'm going to check for your brachial. And do both arms. You got good strong pulses. All right. And do your right now. <coughs> All right. And then I also just going to move your head this way. Does that hurt? No. I'm come back this way and move your head. So we got some range of motion going on. All right, and then is it okay if I listen? Yeah, to of course. You? All right, just deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Perfect. Perfect. Again. Perfect. Good. And then I'm just gonna listen for an aortic. Perfect. Now I'm going to have you sit up if you can. I'll help you. I'm going to listen to your lungs on the back side. Deep breath in through your nose, out through the mouth. Perfect. Again. Good. Okay. Good. And then I'm just going to check your spine. Good. All right. If you'll lay back for me. <clears throat> Can you squeeze my hands for me? All right. Can you push my hands and pull my hands? Good. All right. Let me see your hand and check for skin turgor. It's normally how they check for like dehydration. Good. Cat refill. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to have you put that down. And then I'm just going to inspect your abdomen, okay? So good. Initially, I would pull your shirt up and look. I've inspected it. I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen to the abdomen. We're going to listen for some bowel sounds as well. Okay. Any of this hurt? Mm -mm. Okay. All right, we're going to move down. So initially, I'm looking at the legs of the patient, the skin, the hair, the temperature, and all of that. And you can also check for femoral um, pulse, popliteal pulse. And then I'm checking her legs. I'm going to check them here for pitting or non pitting edema. Um, you want to take the sock off. Look at the toes, inspection, you want to do a dorsal um, pedis, pedal, pulse, and posterior on both. 
She doesn't have any swelling, no abnormalities. Um, can you push against my hands? And then pull to your chin. And then you can take your leg and go bend your knee for me. All right. And you wanna make sure that when you're assessing your patient, if everything's normal, once you're ready to leave your patient's room, that your bed's in the lowest position, the rails, one rail is up, two out of the four, um, and they have their call bell in reach and make sure they don't need anything. Thanks guys.